Hello everyone and welcome back to A Wandering Orc Plays Morrowind. Here we are right outside Sagerith Moor. We are water walking to tell fear. We're going to go see the Edeben and Soom because they are right near this place. I just went through uh, kind of an idiotic journey and wound up here on accident. So I figured we're going to go see this tribe as the first one uh, just because of proximity for the most part. See, we are heading to tell fear just beyond tell fear. The Edeben and Soom camp. Now apparently, I think if I recall correctly, the- oh, mother- ball sacks. Oh, man, that scares the crap out of me. There are a lot of, uh, in this lake. Ugh, gross. I keep pressing tab instead of trying to get to my spells. So, that's a little weird. But that's okay. There are also a lot of generally, like, Dramora and Daedra and stuff here about these parts. I don't know if that's because of the proximity of Telfeed. I mean, it's always that possibility. Maybe magic a Attracts the Daedra and all that jazz. So. There's our beloved little tower. The one that we rescued that lady from. Oh, we could go say hi to her. But she's just going to say the same crap like, Oh, don't forget to take my locket. Oh, you took my locket. Mm -hmm. And then that'll be that. Luckily, my water walking spell does not cost that much mana. I am going to pop by. Just a quick pop. Just to say hello. Put my fists away. Look at there she is. Hanging about. Go ahead, dark Outlander. What do you need? I can hardly even see you. We should really uh oh, I'm gonna wait. I wonder if she'll stay there the whole time. I'm gonna wait twenty four hours again and she's gonna be like, I don't understand. The Enwa came up and stood there. Oh no, she teleported. Oh, wait, why did I wait twenty four hours? <laughs> that was kind of okay, yeah. Twelve hours is more like it. Let's try. 12 hours, so yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, that makes much more sense. What the heck? Yes, okay. All right, so. What do you want? Yes, here is the famous Delena Mendez. She is actually not really all that famous, but I just wanted you to see her for yourselves right off the bat. She totally has like really bloodshot eyes, which I've never noticed before. Hmm. All right, peace out, Delena Mendez. We got things to do. And we are going this way to do it. Probably gonna do some more water walking up here. Yes, mud crabs, cliff racers. Bam! Pops you right up out of the water. No big deal. Oh, this is kind of, oh my god, no! Oh, they're right here. They're right here, if this is them. I mean, or this is like an offshoot evil bunch of them. Yeah, we're a little bit far away from the uh, camp, so this is probably a bit of an offshoot. You will Howdy, die. partners. Oh, God. I, I just never prepared for- Oh, yes! Look at his shirt! Don't you think that would go really well with my, uh, new 70s pants? I definitely think it would. I did notice everyone around the, um, or Sheila Koo started wearing my 70s pants the second that I put them on. I think I've already started a fashion trend. It's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. I mean, nobody wears it quite as well as, uh, Annalise Street Feet with her hair shirt. But... Look at this lady over here, she's like, I keep trying to hit you, but... Killed your partner. You have one of those crazy hairy shirts, too. Sue Bend... Oh, no. What's her name? Mi ilo masitisun. Masitisun. I am terrible with names. Oh, look at that. Weird... Green cylindrical cutoff leg. Huh. What did we got? I'm actually gonna take your common shirt because it was hairy as hell and pretty impressive. Let's see what you got. I will take your gold. Oh man, ten gold. You were like rich for like a wastelander. Aw, oh, look how sweet and grim and macabre. I wonder if they have anything cool in their hut. Do in my I don't care. I don't care. I came in. I probably shouldn't have, but I did. Oh crap. Oh god. I hope it's not really bad that I'm killing this guy. I shouldn't have. Oh man, I shouldn't even have looked in here. Oh well, we're here now. He's laying on the coals. There's no way he's gonna make it. I guess I could just leave. I mean, it can't be anyone too important, right? I guess the game would tell me if I broke it. Jesus, I hope so. Oh, look at his dagger. That is cool. 
15 gold. Man, he might have been somebody really important. That's just a shit. A shitten? <laughs> a chitten dagger. So I murdered the inhabitants of this lovely hut. They were just trying to have a little bit of breakfast with their quama eggs and everything. What's in here? Silver staff of war. It sucks. I'm not taking it. It actually doesn't suck. I could take those eggs for my own breakfast. I, it just doesn't feel right. And besides, they probably won't make the journey. They probably won't last that long. Ooh, lock level 50. Well, we already murdered the inhabitants. We may as well rob them too. So let's see what we got. I'm going to get out my... Somewhere around here. On Ducey's open door. Wow. That's the sound of it being unlocked. Whoa. Oh man, 50 more gold. Not that I need it, but I mean, hey. Gotta do the job right, so. Let's get the heck out of here. Alright, dead people. Sorry I killed you, sort of. More gold, but I'm not even taking that. It's only two gold. Screw it. Screw it. Alright. I kind of like these barren woods. It's a little bit weird, but I'd, I'd hang out here, I think. Definitely would want a vacation to the grasslands, but this is not a bad location. Am I still... Oh, we're in the Molag Amur region. I just saw the map pop up and say that. And we're right near the Edebensum. So let's see, they should be around here somewhere. Oh, I don't think that's a member of the tribe, if I'm just guessing. Just a guess. This is probably somebody's pet, like, hanging out on the outskirts and I'm just murdering it. They're gonna be like, excuse me, have you seen my pet? What are these things? My pet Kaguti Booty! And I'll be like, oh, no, I've never seen that before in my life. I've never even heard of a Kaguti Booty. I apologize. Okay. Here we go. Behold. Right. In the clearing. Guess I'm just walking right in. Oh, uh, also, um, Solmatol gave me some teeth. I don't know what exactly that was, so we're gonna check it out and see what the teeth are. Because that's supposed to be the symbol of us being the Urshilakuna Reverine. Here we go, teeth of Urshilaku. So I'm gonna put this on. I think it's a necklace. I'm all, like, super decked out now. Oh, by the way, that effect that happened in the last uh, episode, that was totally the moon and stars effect, not the pants effect. I don't know. I was getting confused. Uh, fortify personality, five points on self, and fortify speechcraft, five points on self. And it's a constant effect, so Azura really wants people to like me. That's, like, super important to her. Oh, what does this do? Oh, it's a constant effect. Resist paralysis. That's cool. I never get paralyzed, but I'm sure May it'll come in handy someday. you find all that you seek, traveler. Thank you. This hairy shirt and skirt thing is a little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. Oh god, but it's better than this. What are your pants? So good to see you. You know, I'm starting a new 70s pants trend that you might want to hop on if you get the time. You're the outlander who claims to be the Nereverine. You'll find no welcome here, I'm afraid. I'm gonna ask her about that. We know about the prophecies. Our Ashkans and Gulakans say they are foolish superstition. There will be trouble if you speak with them. Perhaps you should speak with our wise woman, Manerai. Oh, that's right, that was who I was supposed to talk to anyway. Now, um, if this woman's saying it, it's probably okay to just walk in her- Ooh, she'll train me. Oh, she can't. Never mind. In theory. In theory, she would have trained me. So I'm gonna find the wise woman's, uh, yurt. It is not going to be here, probably. The wise woman always, like, has a rug in front of her place. Maybe this is it? Maybe I should really just start looking at the, uh, the doors here. Under sun and sky, Outlander, we greet you warm. Thank you, thank you. Oh, um, this is a wise woman's yurt. Is there uh, something I guess... I can do for you? Maybe that's the one that I'm going for, so I'm just going to walk in. Uh, I'm gonna save it because it's gonna be a real save too. Nah, screw it. It's gonna be a quick save. We take our chances. Please don't attack me. Oh, wow, Manorite! You, Damn. I've heard good things about you. I feel like she could be Soul Sentinel's sister. 
because she looks a little bit like him. Or maybe I'm just going by the crown, but damn, look at like her fur collar and everything. Holy crap! Oh man, she has like leopard print leggings on. All right, now I take back everything I said about your tribe like having weird fashion sense because you are strike a glorious figure. Look, she's posing too. That's like almost a Jojo pose. Mm. I am Manurai, wise woman of the Ereben Sum. You are the outlander who claims to fulfill the Nerevering prophecies. Do you need my services? Or do you seek my counsel? Actually, I do seek your counsel, Manurai. I have great use of your counsel. I warn you. Be wary of the Ashkan Ulathpal and his supporters. They all hate outlanders and love nothing more than to kill them and loot them. They do not respect custom or hospitality, and they think nothing of killing unarmed men, women, or children. They are bad men, and bad leaders, and you should fear them. Oh crap, I wonder if I just killed him. Ulathpal is always in his yurt, protected by his bodyguard, Gulakan Ahaz. I am just a weak woman, and I'm sure you would know best. But I would kill Ahaz first, the weaker of the two, and if I had secret magics and powers, I would use them to preserve me while I defend against two enemies at once. Hmm, <clears throat> I like how she throws you off like, oh, I'm just a weak woman. Alright, so let's ask about Ahaz then. Ahaz is Ulathpur's faithful bodyguard. He is not so strong or skilled as Ashu. Ah, but wherever you see Ulathpal, you will see Ahaz. If you fight Ulathpal, you must also fight Ahaz. Okay. Well, I guess I'm fighting Ulath Paul then. Maybe I could just bribe him though, I mean, seriously. Uh, it's worked in the past. I'm gonna ask him about the Nerevarine prophecies though. Do you wish to be named Erebensum Nerevarine? Never. Not while Ashkan Ulath Paul and his war-loving Erebensum live. They all hate outlanders and are proud and haughty and will never suffer an outlander to rule them. If you would be Nerevarine of the Erebensum, you must kill Ulath Paul and his supporters. The Gulakans, Ahaz, Ranabi, Ashu, ah. Then you must help me make peace loving Ereben Sum, Gulakan, Han, Amu, Ar Ashkan. Ashkan, Han, Amu could then name you Ereben Sum Nerevarin. Alright. That sounds like a freaking plan. She's thought about this, man. She's been stewing for a while on how best to get a revolution out of this. And here I pop in, like, hey, I'd like to be the Nerevarin, and she's like, hmm, can you kill people? All right, we can strike a deal. But before anything else can be done, you must first eliminate Ulath Paul and his supporters. Then you should come speak to me, and we will discuss further how you might be named Edwin Sum Nerevarin. All right, normally I get this in writing and payment halfway up front, but you know what? I'm just gonna roll with you, Manorai. You look fucking fabulous, and we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it. So, um, where is Ulath Paul in his yurt? All right, I guess I'm just gonna walk into his yurt and like murder this guy. Ooh. Sorry, I got stuck on your pole. I'm, I'm totally cool. I'm cool. Alright. Another quick save, because that was pretty cool. Oh, Hanamu! He's the, the up-and-coming. He's the newcomer, the rising up. Here is the Ashkan's yurt. I guess that's it. Oh, oh my god. What? Are you the Ashkan's pet? Or are you an assassin? This uh, little shock is probably from the Assassin's Guild trying to murder me in broad daylight. Normally they wait until I rest, but he's about as good an assassin as the rest of them, I suppose. Sneaky, anyway. Popped up in the middle of a camp, even. Alright. So she wanted me to uh, use some magics? I think I will, because he might attack me just as soon as I walk in, so... Uh, we actually have some good stuff here, uh, from some of the stuff that I'm wearing. Shield. Yeah. Um, turn undead is not gonna be useful, but, I mean, shield might be useful, so screw it. We're gonna do, uh, Hortlot's robe. And we're also gonna cast the hair shirt of Saint... Oh. Akator or whatever. Aralor, yes. And let's do it. Going in. What if I could just talk this guy out of it? That would be oh look at this. Where is that slave? Dude, this guy's like playing the drum down here. Kumu awesome on it. Ahaz. Ulath Paul, I'm gonna talk to you first. You are the outlander who claims to fulfill the Nerevering prophecies. What do you want? 
Alright, yes, I'm an outlander. I have nothing to say to you. I despise you and your kind. Go away. Reverend Prophecies. Very well. This problem has an easy solution. This character is in combat. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna stand behind him. I know she said to attack a Haas first, but I'm gonna go straight for the con because, I mean, that's a sign of my strength and we'll just see how it works out. I don't know how well it will work out, but that's what we're here for. I challenge you, Ulath Paul, to a fight, as I'm challenging you in the middle of the fight. Or rather, he challenged me, so I guess it all works out. Let's see if I can take this guy. Look at the drummer in the background, it's like, I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing any of this. I don't know. I've, I've never seen any of this before in my life. Alright, so I'm just gonna take them both down like this. This is a method that I kind of developed as I was running about, going into random caverns and things. You just... Take them both down and keep them both down as best you can. Sometimes it's a little bit hard because they fall into each other like that. Like a hoss is like all up in your left no one. butt. But yes. Uh, and then it makes it a little bit difficult to focus on one over the other. But overall, no big deal. You, get back down there. Thank you. Oh, look at him. This is, like, cute and disturbing at the same time because I'm, like, mutilating them and uh, punching their blood out of them in large spurts. It's strange. Uh. There we go. We got Ulath Paul down, and I feel uh, pretty awesome about that, that we went for him first. Uh, because, I don't know, I feel like it was the right thing to do. If we're talking about codes of honor and everything, I know that the Erebinsum have uh, sort of not had them for a while. But I'm not part of the Erebinsum. I'm an honorary member of the Urshiliku clan, and they are all about codes and honor, so... I feel like I have stepped up and represented my peeps pretty well. Although, I, I actually love these guys' clothes, too. I know I talk about clothes a lot, but hey. Gotta admire the fashions. People worked hard on them. Alright, so my journal has been updated. I took them both out. Let's see. Senate kills Heart of Fire. Fortify willpower. We'll take that. I don't know why, but I will. Uh, and Chameleon for five seconds. Blind. I don't really need that. It's uh, worth a little bit, but I'm not too worried about money right now. We do have some bone mold things on him. I'll leave your corpse here because that lady's probably going to want to come, like, I don't know, poke him and prod him and make sure that you're dead or something. Ahaz. Ahaz, can you, like... Let me get to the... His last acting member as the chief's bodyguard was to make sure that I couldn't loot him. Okay, there we go. War Axe of Iranamu. That is worth a ton. I'm taking that. That's like worth 14,500, something like that. The bone mold uh, stuff, again, I'm going to leave behind. Couldn't even tell he had an expensive shirt on underneath all that, but I can see his pants there. They got some grooves in them. Not as good as mine. So yeah, uh, I didn't see anything. I didn't. Just go, please. Okay, all right, I'm out. I, I could just loot this stuff. I'm not gonna loot them. They're, oh God, what a mess. What a mess. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go back to the wise woman's yurt and she's gonna be freaking thrilled, I'm sure, that I've murdered her uh, arch nemesis. Yes, Outlander, do you need my services or counsel? If you would fight Ashkan Ulathpol and his supporters, know your enemy and come prepared. I thought I already did that. So I need to take out Renabi now. Renabi is mean and solitary. He's cunning, but he relies too much on the power of his ancestors' enchantments. He is not so strong, but beware. He bears a poisoned blade. Well, I have poison resist, and it's, isn't that just wonderful? Um, okay, um, hmm... Uh, so let's go find Renabi, I guess. Three so, blessings. So I guess Sarah. we'll. Nobody else in town seems to care that I have done this. I mean, they had to have heard something. What's this guy? Saba Bentis. Whoa. All right, Renabi. Oh, Renabi's yurt. Look at him! Oh my god, he's wearing my old robe! 
Renabi, you look amazing. Amazing. What do you want, Outlander? I actually want to murder you. You have slain one of my people. You must pay with your life. <laughs> your wounds are okay. great. <clears throat> no, they're not. They're not too bad, actually. I don't know. Did he cast his poison? Am I even feeling this? Oh god, this is so different than like fighting all the Dramora and stuff. I guess these people don't uh, like level scale or whatever. Oh, he is casting something on me. Oh, maybe I'm walking in the fire. Is that possible? That might be possible. This poor guy. Ah, I just killed his best friends in the whole world and he's like... You killed my people, I'm going to murder you, which I totally can- I can understand. I can empathize with you. Probably I see myself in him because he's wearing one of my favorite robes in the whole game, though. My journal has been updated. Let's see what you got. Uh, robe of Erodon the Wise. Even though it looks just like my other robe, it is not. I'm gonna take it and uh, nobody saw where his robe went. Oh man, I'm not gonna take any of his other stuff again. I'm not gonna loot the yurts of... Look at all these people are like gathering around. They're like, did you hear something? <laughs> oh, she walked right up to me and posed again. That's fantastic. Yes, Outlander. I did it. I did it. Uh, they are the strongest in fighting. I think you will defeat. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. All right. But I kind of did it. So maybe I'll ask her about being the Re the Nerevering again. Maybe I have to go talk to Hanamu. Ahaz Renabi and Ashu. Ah. Oh god, there's somebody else that I haven't killed. Ashu Ah. Man, I need to really pay better attention to these instructions. I keep going back every time, like, oh, give me a pat on the back, and then, um, she's like, what the fuck? Outlander, I keep having to repeat myself over and over again. Please go take care of Asha. Ah. Here we go. I always have to talk to them first. He no, also looks magnificent. Alright. <clears throat> oh, call me a fetcher. I'm pretty sure, like, fetchers are, like, lazy or something. I don't think that's me, man. Ashu? Ah. I wonder if there are any relation to the mages uh, deep within that cavern that we went into. Dune? Ah. Probably. Oh look, we got all those little bubbles again. He's gonna take a minute. Yes, he will definitely take a minute. Okay, so we've sort of been rotating circles around his uh, his little apartment here, his little yurt. Um, but we are, we have been wearing him down. I did not cast a spell on his shield or anything. I'm sure that would have made it go much faster, but yes. So this is my fourth murder in like five minutes in the Erebin Sum uh, territories. So that's interesting. Mountain Spirit. Shield 10 points on self. That's worth quite a bit. We're gonna take his Curus called Mountain Spirit. And let's see, anything else he got? Nah. Nah. Nothing crazy. What do you... Oh, that's his shield. He fell on his shield. Alright. So we're out of here. Now I think we finally... Oh my god. I think we finally actually killed everyone. So now let's go back and get our praise. And she's like... The May idiot has returned. All that you seek, traveler. Now, with the Ashkan Ulathpal and his supporters dead, we may consider the Nerevarine prophecies and how you might be named Edivin Sum Nerevarine. With Ulathpal and his supporters out of the way, it is a simple matter to be named Nerevarine of the Edivin Sum. All you need to do is persuade Gulakan Han Amu to become the Ashkan of the Edivin Sum. Seek him out in his Gulakyurt. Be prepared, however. A Hanamu is not the material one would choose when looking to make an Ashkan. He may be difficult to persuade. Alright, well, we're gonna give it a try anyway because, hey, we're here to fix all your problems. Ease your worries, 
and rid you of your woes. So I already know that he's like, oh god, I thought I thought I knew. So we know that he's here because we've passed it like 10 billion times. Oh, hey guys. Yantis, uh, hey. What Hanamu, do you want, hey. Amanda? No matter what Manarai says, I'm not interested. I don't want to be Ashkan. Yes, you do. I don't care what she says. I don't want to be Ashkan. Everyone despises me. I'm a weakling and a coward and a fool. I hate it, but it's true. I just want to be left alone. I want him to be Ashkan, so I say it. And he says, yes, I recognize it. Renabi wore that robe, the robe of Irodan the Wise. Oh, God, I guess I like took that robe uh, without even thinking about it because I love that robe and he needs it. Damn. It was handed down to Renabi through his family. What does that to do with my wanting to be Ashkan? I'm going to give him the robe of Irodan the Wise and make a little speech. Dear Hanamu, I think you would look very good in this robe. Please put it on and become the Ashkan, and you will be able to lead because it's worth over a thousand gold, and people will think you're really cool. Love, Annalise Street Feet. Thank you. Your lesson is clear. <laughs> it is the robe that gives wisdom and counsel, and it is the idea of the robe that gives confidence of the tribe, but it is the Ashkan who wears the robe, the Ashkan who accepts responsibility for the safety of the tribe, who holds the fate of the tribe in his hands. This is a sobering lesson, and I must give it thought. He put it on right away. He freaking loved it. It's the best gift he's ever gotten, and it actually convinced him to be the Ashkan. So, I think... Wait a minute. Eh, yeah, so I just, like, redid the... What the... F wait, 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 wait. Oh, I, I like, skipped through that, but then he says, uh, yes, I, I clicked on, uh, want to be Ashkan. He says, yes, I recognize it. Ahaz wore that amulet. Senate kills heart of fire. Ahaz had it from his father, and Ahaz's father had it from Kinitu Nila. And Kinutu Nila had it from Senate Kill, a great witch warrior. Ooh. But what has that to do with my wanting to be Ashkan? Thank you, your lesson is clear. It is the amulet that gives courage in battle. It is the idea of the amulet that gives confidence of the tribe. It is the Ashkan who wears the amulet. The Ashkan who accepts responsibility for the safety of the tribe. Who holds the fate of the tribe in his hands? So we're in lesson. Give it some thought. So I guess I am just giving him all my shit on accident. And I don't know if he wants to be, um... He doesn't want to be Ashcan yet, so I'm going to ask him again. Um, so I say, want to be Ashcan? Eh? And he says, yes, I recognize it. It is the war axe of my father. The war axe of Iran Amu. Ulath Paul had it from my father and carried it as Ashcan. But what has that to do with my wanting to be Ashcan? So I'm going to make another speech. I'm going to be like, oh, your dad had this axe and you better ax somebody and take it. It's like, thank you. Your lesson is clear. It is the axe that gives strength in war, and it is the idea of the axe that gives confidence to the tribe. But now it is the Ashkan who bears the axe, and the Ashkan who accepts responsibility for the safety of the tribe, and holds the fate of the tribe in his hands. Now, with Ulathpal dead, I hold the fate of the tribe in my hands, and I must accept that responsibility. Yes! Thank you for your lesson. I shall be Ashkan of the Ereban soon, and I shall name you Nereverine. Yes! Woo! Worthy! And I've been assumed a reverie, and it only took like killing four people and giving this guy all of our things and giving a whole bunch of speeches in order to do it. Yes! Thank you, Annalise Streetfeet. I promise that as Ash can, I shall do my best to amend the dark reputation of the Edabin Soom. And as my first action as chief, I now name you Edabin Soom Nerevarine. Champion of the Arab and Sum and protector of the people, you must also go to wise woman Manarai and get from her the seizing of Arab and Sum, an enchanted heirloom of the tribe, which shall be assigned to all Dunmer that the Arab and Sum have named you Nereverine. Fuck yeah! We mostly kind of stumbled through that, but it all worked out. And we made it seem like we were really knowing what the hell we were doing, so that's exciting. All right, so now we're off to... Oh, God. Yantis was just watching all that, like me, like, dressing his uh, his ash can and everything. That's kind of weird. All right, Yantis, uh, no, nothing to see here. And he's over in the corner like, wow, this is the... Oh, he, like, shook his head. What is he thinking? 
He's like, oh, this is actually the best day ever. I can't believe I took the ash can position. I can't believe I convinced the Outlander to part with all their stuff. <laughs> all right, Manorai, what do you got to say? So, Annalise Streetfeet, you are called Nereverine. And Hanamu is now our ash can. Many changes. Many changes. Yes. <laughs> Well, now you are the Erebensum de Reverine. Now perhaps we shall see what that means. I'm going to ask her about Hanamu. You have persuaded him to accept his responsibilities. Now we will see if he grows in wisdom and becomes a good and wise chief like his father. Except, uh, you actually need to give me something. Manarai, you're holding out on me. Uh, I need the... Or you didn't already give it to me, right? Like, I don't already have it, right? Uh, let's see. Under sun and sky, Outlander, we greet you warmly. Ah, there we go. I was just missing uh, this one little option here. It's called Nereverine Prophecies. I was, like, clicking everything except for this exact option. So this uh, seems to do it. She says, So, Hanamu has accepted his responsibilities as Ashkan and has named you Erebensum Nereverine. Congratulations. And also I must give you the seizing of Erebensum, a tribal heirloom that ought to be held by our chosen champion as a token that we have named you Nereverine. Alright, cool. I'm gonna ask about it. Oh, she gave it to me. Yes! That's it. I don't know why I was having such a hard time with that, but now we have it. Woo! Um, here, take this enchanted token of the Erebin soon, and that all may know that we have named you Nereverine and Champion. She looks a little bit annoyed with me, but incredibly pleased with herself that she managed to pull this little coup off, or rather that she managed to finagle me into doing it for her. So wonderful, Manorai, you have a fantastic day, you and your fantastic outfit and uh yeah so i think hey, we're gonna cut it off there um next time we are gonna see to say, who else we can officially become the nereverine for i think we have the say, what are they called the ahamoon or something oh crap what the balls man always shocks around here so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time